Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. Today I am with Rajnarind Kaur. Um, Rajnarind Kaur, could you please introduce yourself a little bit? Who are you? What do you do? Um, so hi, I'm Rajnarind Kaur. I am work in finance, work on Wall Street, and... Um, by day. By day. <laughs> and on the side, I love and my passion is Seva and Seva projects. So Jyoti Kasuri is one of those Seva projects. Um, so today we are at the Seva um, Film Festival. Uh, Jyoti Kasuri was playing. Um, talk a little bit, can you talk a little bit about that? Just like the experience of making it, um, the impact, and yeah. So uh, it was an amazing experience, amazing opportunity, and I had to audition, so it wasn't like a, a shoe in there. I auditioned with Nicole and Hans Chief and uh, several times had to perfect certain dialects and certain words that I didn't know, and then just went through it, auditioned, and had the opportunity, heard the story, read the script, and Nicole was kind enough to let me um, alter the script a little bit where I felt that some things could be said a little bit from a Sikhi perspective where she may have not been using the right words. So um, it was an amazing opportunity, never did it before. And yeah. the impact to me, it's such a strong film because the women that came here, they went through a lot and they, they went through a lot just in being Punjabi and being Sikh, but then also being, you know, starting a whole new life without their parents. And I could not imagine that, leaving a whole new country and, and coming somewhere new and yeah. And this like premiered on PBS and just had like such wide um, appreciation and just um, what do you think about like the uh, role that kind of has um, because you know we don't have like a lot of Sikh representation right now so. So the movie was picked up by PBS, uh, Nicole and Hans Chief I believe uh, in all of California, the California schools and everywhere, it was shown to tens of thousands of individuals and school children so that they understand who the six are and a little bit about, um, a little bit more about their classmates who were in their classes with them. Uh, and so we are here uh, on behalf of Nishkam TV. So we're, uh, as you know, um, totally Kelsa Kids run program. Um, kids do literally every step of the process. Um, and what do you think is something that we should uh, do, like present in the future? Um, like what expectations do you kind of have? Um, or what, not expectations, but like, you know, um, like what should we talk about? What are issues that need to be addressed, especially from a kid's perspective? So I think you guys have an, an awesome opportunity here because the voice is media right now, as we heard. And I think that voice through Khalsa Kids who are born and raised here primarily, having that opportunity to share our story, share their story, interview other kids who are born and raised here because they've gone through the experiences of living as an American by day and living as a sick at night. So we have this dual, you know, dual life that we live, but it's something that is unique to us. And I think that that perspective should be shown and shared because there are individuals in other states that don't have Sangat. So to know that there are others out there like them and to be able to reach out, this is the most amazing opportunity you guys have to reach out to millions and thousands of people through media. And that's like, that I like can't help but see the direct parallelism between Juthi Kasuri and, and this, like not having Sangha, and like the power of Sangha pretty much. Um, and last uh, big question. Um, what, given your background and experience um, in, from like finance to voiceover, you know, by night, um, what advice do you have for the kids of Nishkam who are putting themselves out there and um, pursuing? So I, I think the best advice that I would have uh, for Nishkam and for all children is to, for all children and for all adults, um, really find your passion, do your passion. My passion is not finance, right? I, I went into it because it's something I wanted to do. My passion was Wall Street. So I wanted to work on Wall Street. Um, I had the opportunity, I think it was great, but I never gave up on the seva. And that seva chance that we have to really make a difference in people's lives, by the small little things that you do, as you saw in, in Juthi Kasuri, just having you know, Sangat with others, that's a, a, a benefit that we should do and should always do to share Sikhi and to 
build our own strength in numbers. So I think just find what you want to do. Like you're, you, you mentioned you're a biology major. Yeah. Do biology, which is a, a, a great field to be into because you're going to impact and help so many people. But all of that afterwards, right? Then you, there's so much more that you can give back to the community as I'm just assuming you're going to be a doctor so, <laughs> or, or anything in bio. <laughs> so, so to give back, and I know, I know in all states primarily I've seen it, in many they do health fairs. So all the doctors in the community come back and they give back to the community. That's something that you could lead, right? And through Nishkam, you can really get the word out to people who may not know about it because maybe they don't go to Gurdwara. But through Nishkam, because you guys are going to be hot and you already are hot, so people will find out about you guys and then they'll come out and they'll come to the community fair. So I really think publicizing a lot of the events um, through this medium is, is awesome. Well, thank you very, very much. Um, for being here, for uh, putting yourself out there and inspiring us all. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, bye, Guruji Ki Fateh.